All right, guys, I'm here at Trafford Golf Centre, the driving range, because I've got a new golf club that I've bought. I want to give it a try. I saw it online as a commercial, and I saw it and I thought, oh, that's going to be a complete gimmick. Uh, and I thought it'll make for a great YouTube video. So I bought it with this idea that let's give it a hit, see how it does, give it a compare. And actually, the more I looked into it, I thought, actually, bought some gimmicks in my time. I have there might just be a little glimpse of truth in this club. The idea of it, it's a big oversized hybrid and it's for golfers who hit their hybrids great, but don't particularly hit driver good. They've supersized the size of the head. It's massive, believe me. And they reckon now they're making a hybrid that goes 50 yards further. So it'll be more similar to hitting a driver. So I thought, well, let's buy it. It cost me a couple of hundred dollars online. It got shipped over here to the UK. Let's get to the driving range. Let's give it a smash. Um, I'm going to be hitting range balls first, but I've also got a few little sneaky Pro V1 practice balls in my bag. And I've also got my GC quad so we can compare some numbers. Like I say, it might be a complete waste of money and a complete gimmick. But I thought I'll test it to let you guys know. Okay, so I'm in the golf academy. I've got a load of balls to whack, but I'm not going to hit all them. But this is it. Teton, 15 degree, little dirt mark on the head cover, even though this was straight out of the box. This is it. This is the oversized hybrid. Just wait till I take this head cover off. And underneath, this is what we find. Still in the wrapper. Look how big that face is. I'm going to get another hybrid in a minute to compare it to in a second. Teton, go faster stripe on top 15 degrees just a flex stiff shaft 85 grams that's the view behind the ball you can see it's got a big face on it like i say a driver face but in a hybrid body to put this into perspective that's the tetan oversized hybrid and that's a normal sized hybrid granted an old battered one but look at the difference in head size apparently i've been pronouncing it wrong it's called teton and it's a hybrid driver. It's 42 and a half inches. They're just claiming all the advantages of a hybrid, but, but in a bigger head. So before I hit the oversized hybrid, I'm gonna give this little rascal a rip. Just to warm up, I'm sure this hybrid used to be here even when I used to coach here all those years ago. I do understand why people like hybrids. They are easy to hit. I've just never been the biggest fan of them over the years. But if you need a club that just kind of scoops the ball up, it is perfect for that. Right, that's that one done. I'm warmed up, I'm ready to go. Let's unleash this beast. So let's see if it works. You know, I'm not expecting miracles. First shot off the bat, that felt more powerful than the hybrid I just hit before. I need a few more to get a gauge. Like I said, I can't wait to hit Pro V1s that I've got in my bag with GC Quad to actually check numbers. So after hitting a few shots with this, you know what? It actually flies pretty good. And performance wise, it shocked me more than I thought it was going to do. I didn't think it was going to be as good. I thought it was going to be flimsy. I thought the head was going to be heavy. I thought therefore the shaft was going to whip too much. None of the above. In fact, I just hit them really well. Uh, I'm going to hit a few off the floor and then we've got to compare it against driver. We've got to do that next. So in here, brought my launch monitor with me. Who else brings a GC quad to the range, eh? And also, I brought some practice Pro V1. So let's hit driver first, just for a few, and then I'll hit the hybrid. OK, 
Okay, so I've just hit a load of Pro V1s with my driver. Averaging 273 yards. Not the longest, but that's, you know, that's today's hitting conditions. So now I'm gonna test it with this. I just, for me, I can't see it going as long. One, because it's got more loft and it's shorter, but even if it gets close and it's easier to hit, that's got to be a big positive for this club. Ah, a little bit high. It's not gonna be long. It's pretty straight though. That was, that was hit pretty well. Okay, I'm not gonna hit it a lot better than that. That's as good as I've hit one today. And that's carried two, five, three. So after hitting this oversized hybrid with Pro V1s and GC Quad, the results are in. Did it go as long as driver? No, it didn't. It went about 20 yards shorter. And I'd expect that. Number of reasons. One, it's more loft, 15 degrees, and it's much shorter than a driver length. It's much more like my three wood. It's basically a three wood, but with a hybrid head. And there could be something in that. Now I'm quite good with my driver, I am, granted. Every now and again, I'll hit bad shots offline. What I found with this, I didn't hit as many shots badly offline. Driver amplifies mistakes many times. I think something like this wouldn't do. Now, going back to my original question, is it a gimmick? Well, if you watch the commercial, the advertisement, the infomercial that's on TV, it's ridiculous. It's so over the top. So I'm gonna close on one line. If you can't hit your driver, go and get a lesson. If you don't wanna get a lesson, maybe give this a try. We'll see you next time.